Hey guys, it's Will from Magic the Friendly Tavern, and today we're going to try and do something completely different. Uh, I'm an amateur chess player, a extremely amateur chess player. I've been playing for longer than I'd like to admit, and I'm not good at all. I am going to make lots of mistakes. I am going to lead you down very bad paths, uh, but I hope you will take this journey with me. And see if we can't have a little fun at least. Uh, to try and get you into to, to understanding what I'm trying to do, we're going to start off in a computer match. And we're going to pick a very um, low rank bot. Uh, we'll pick uh, Martin's 250, Laney's 400. We'll, we'll choose a Laney. Alright, so we're going to go in here. Uh, this is a bot match. Um... Challenge, no help of any kind, we'll play. And, um, so it looks like we are starting with the white pieces. White pieces always go first. Uh, they, it gives them an advantage, uh, in, uh, tempo. And black has to be aware of that. Uh, one thing that you're gonna learn about me is I always play queen side first. So, uh, queen, queen pawn to, uh, two spaces forward to e4. Uh, it's my favorite opening is E4. I play the London. So my next move is going to be uh, Bishop to F4. You know, my, my notation is terrible. Uh, so, you know, I'll, I'll end up saying dumb things, but just stick with me. All right, so they opened up over here. They can move this bishop into play, put this under attack. Uh, it's still guarded by this uh, bishop here. Uh, but we can continue to develop... Um, We are going to go ahead and open up this side. Uh, what we do in the London system is we try to make a triangle in the middle. And we put this bishop on the outside so it'll get trapped in the triangle. That's an interesting push on this side. Um, and then uh, we do other things from there. The one square we want to be aware of is this square right here. Uh, this is E5. We do not want our opponent to to control that square. We want to control that square. So I'm actually going to move my knight up there so I can put my knight there if I need to. Uh, this is not an opening. I don't know what Elaine is doing here, but this is, this is, I've never seen this before. Uh, she's actually kind of psyching me out. Uh, what I could do here what I want to do here is most likely, uh, now normally I would put this uh, pawn on this square to complete my triangle of power, but I want to head her off. Uh, so I'm pushing my pawns forward to try and take the center so she can't push me out of it. Uh, this rook move here is very interesting. I don't know what that's about. I mean, I do have a, if they can get it down here, they can do stuff, but I, I just don't think that's a good move. Uh, in my experience. Okay, so we're going to put our bishop on this square. This is uh, E2. And you can put it up here on E3, but I like it better on E3, uh, on E2, building a battery uh, between my queen and my bishop. And this is coming down the board. Uh, this is fine. Uh, what we'll do is we'll meet it uh, with this and stop its advancement. Now he's putting this here. He can drop this, and then he's got an open sight on my knight. Um, and then I'll take back, and this is gonna, this is, they're trying to rip into my, uh, flank over here, is what they're trying to do. Uh, but I, I, I have, mo I have moves my own. Uh, first of all, we're gonna move our knight up. Uh, now this is open. Uh-huh. Now, I, um, this, this, uh, pawn right here is protected by this knight. This rook. Is not really doing anything. It's um. Hmm. Now, what? Oh. I'm sorry. I got to tank about this for a second. Uh, I really go into the tank a lot. I use a lot of my time in chess. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and develop my other knight. Uh, see, they moved the rook back. They moved it over here, and they moved it back. That's a wasted move. That's that's not good. Uh, this allows me to look around here. I can put pressure on this. Uh, 
that doesn't look good. This this knight is controlling this square, this square, this square, and this square. Not to mention protecting these. Oh, uh, we have to keep that in mind. Our knight. I don't want to sacrifice here. I don't want to advance. I don't want to do that. I don't think. What I think I want to do. I want a castle. That's what I want to do. I want a castle. I want to move my queen out of the way so I can castle on this side. Because he's got more action going over here so far. I don't know if this is correct or not. Do not quote me on this stuff. Uh, if we manage to win a game, it'll be a miracle. Uh, I'm going to move here. Uh, Rook comes down. Still, there's not much he can do right now. Um, this pawn so far forward, I just really do not want to castle this direction. So, I am going to castle the opposite direction. Okay, so he moved his Rook uh, to this file. Which is not open. And what I can do to punish that. Alright. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to knight to f7. Now if he makes a different move besides... Taking my knight with the king, I now have a triple fork on him. I can attack his queen, I can attack his rook, or I can take his pawn. Uh, obviously, the queen and the rook are higher, more higher value targets. And um, if I take his, if I take his rook, my my he cannot retake my knight. If I take his queen, he can retake my. Uh, he can retake my horse with his king. It'll shuffle his king this direction. Um, I don't know if I'm willing to give up this knight yet for that. But he kind of can't move his queen out of the way very much. So yeah, I think I'm going to take this knight. I'm going to take this rook. Okay, so now he's building a battery. He's got a battery on this file. He just needs this pawn to disappear. I am not going to oblige. I have a check here. And that looks like smothered check. He cannot retake. This might be the end of the game here. That was. That was checkmate. So that's how that's how you do the London system. Uh, we do a slight variation. And uh, you can check on the mistakes. I'm probably going to have plenty of blunders. Uh, I usually average 4 to 10 mistakes per game. Uh, but that was one game. Oh, uh, yeah. See, I had two blunders. Um, I look at it. You can self-analyze here. I've already used, I only get one analysis a day because I'm a free-to-play player. If I, like, paid monthly for the program, I'd get all of this. Uh, I have 53.9% accuracy. They only had 27.1. I had, actually, I had zero blunders. They had three blunders. I have one mistake, though. And I miss, apparently missed the win, which is another thing I do often. So that was my last book move. Um, moving up. Okay, so they did not like that. They said I should have played that night up first. Um, keep going. Yeah, they could they could have they could have dropped this pawn and kicked my knight out. Uh, what they suggest is I move my other knight this direction to put pressure on this square again, and it, it that that and it's protected by this bishop and it opens this bishop on this file. I mean on this uh on this vertical right here to hit this horse. Uh, so I castle. Uh, they said that was a missed win they said I could have oh I see so I could have moved my horse here I would have been attacking these squares ah ha 
Fucking weird. Okay. Yeah, it is a, that is a very difficult to see winning position. I agree. So, uh, they said that was a mistake too. They said that I should have moved it down here instead. Uh, why? What would have happened if we would have done that? Okay, and then I guess we could uh, take with the bishop, uh, move this pawn forward to kick the knight, uh, move the queen up there, and, and do some damage, I guess. Um, so then we'll go to our end where we checkmate it. This is what we call a smothered check. Your king cannot just, is basically blocked in by its own pieces. It can't move. Uh, still, that was a checkmate in um, 12 moves. So, uh, pretty much, um, 15 up, 3.9 percent accuracy. Like I said, I'm not, I am not a master at this game. I am pulling basically 300 elo. Uh, you're not even considered decent until you're at a thousand elo, uh, and then you're not even, you know, like a, a anything special until past 2,000 elo. So, do not expect great chess from me. But uh, we'll play another game here. That was fun, uh, you know. So we'll uh, we'll jump into another game. Uh, this time, uh, we'll play online by a person that's practically my own rank. And uh, we have 10 minutes on the clock, so we got to play a little faster. I am opening white. Uh, again, I'm going to do London, unless they force me not to, which is by moving this king's pawn down here. Because then I can't move my bishop there, or he's got a forked attack on either of my uh, pieces. Uh, this, I am 278 ELO, this person is 343, so they're, they're, they're slightly better than me, uh, probably by a mile, but we shall see, uh, we're gonna go ahead and, um, we're gonna go ahead and shut off this side of the side, just in case they start bringing their bishop and their queen down here to attack me, now this does cause a weakness, um, to... Uh, this square and this uh, pawn because there's nothing protecting this pawn right here and this square is is unprotected too if I, when I move my queen uh, so we got to keep that in mind uh, if they bring their queen down here I do know what to do though I do have a strategy so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move this horse and they move their horse so I got time to move my horse I'm still trying to get this square this is what we're battling over this is my point um, see, I got a bishop here, and then, um, what I can do is I can just put the horse here, and that will, uh, stop them from doing it. Now, they can take the horse with the bishop, uh, so they move the queen down, that's fine. Uh, what we're gonna do is we are going to move this horse up here. Oh, wow, that is laggy. Um... And the reason is, is because if I can loop this horse around, I can, I can, uh, hold on, let me think how I gotta do it. So I'll move here. If they slide down here, my horse takes. Uh, this is a trick I've learned from watching other uh, grandmasters actually do know how to play the London. Uh, the other thing you can do is fight queen for queen, but I don't like doing that. I, I particularly uh, like my queen. And uh, let's see, they are trying to attack. Um, basically, they're trying to attack here, but that's fine. Uh, we are going to go ahead and close off our triangle. Oh, wow, that's getting laggy. I've never, uh, I wonder if it's my internet or if it's my, um, something else. Now, I could sacrifice my horse here for a little tempo, but I don't think that's worth it. Plus, it'll push their queen in a better position, so that might not be the play. Uh, they are attacking this, this, uh, pawn here, and I don't actually want to lose that. So let me uh, click around here and see if I can't figure out what to do about that. 
Oh boy, do I take? No, they just take, and then I can't. I have no repercussions. Um. But yeah, if I move here, I fork their knight, or fork their rook, I fork their uh, king, and my piece has to be dealt with. Um, but they'll have to push their bishop up, or they'll take it with the queen. Is that acceptable? I'm willing to give it a shot. I've also got their knight. Oh, they can take it with their knight too, I didn't see that. That's really good for them. Yeah, that was a, that was a giant mistake on my part. But what it does do is um, no, I can't do that. I I'm a I'm gonna push this pawn into the middle. So they do that, which is very not good for me. Uh, what do they all have under control with this knight? Uh, if they get here, uh, they will fork my queen and they will fork my rook. I do not want them here at all. Um, can I prevent that, though, um, is the question. So move my, move my bishop back here, which they can take. But I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you why that's a, that's uh, that's okay. Hopefully. Okay, the castle on that side. Uh, that's fine. Um. What I can do I'm gonna send my rook up there. I mean my bishop up there. Uh put it on this file. I'm gonna try something. Uh they're dropping they're they're coming aggressive on this side too. But that's fine. Uh I'm actually gonna castle at this point. And they have met my, uh, my, um, uh, hmm. I don't want this open, honestly. So, what I'm thinking is, um, push this pawn forward. Now it's under the protection of my knight, at least. But that's not what I'm trying to set up. So they send that out. They can take that. And that will be pretty devastating. Actually. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reinforce it. That's not a move that scares me. Uh, I'm going to do this. And you say, why would you put your bishop there? Well, that bishop will uh, protect, will hit this space. And, uh, well, they took my knight. My knight could have slid up there and took that. And I wouldn't have been forking anything, but it would have kind of been tearing in their defenses a little. So, um, what I need to do here is retake with my bishop. Now, I can pick up a free knight here. It's hung. Uh, they have no retaliate. Well, they got queen. Never mind. That won't work. Um...
Ooh, my queen here. They, if they take with this, then I can go straight for their uh, their rook if I want. Uh, but I'm not. I don't want to exactly do that. What I also can do is that will. Mm, that's not really great. But I put them in check with this bishop, and they have to deal with this bishop by sliding their queen. And that was an interesting way to do that. Hmm. I don't want to do this. Yeah, I know, it looks good, but I don't think it's as good as you think it's going to be. That's, that's not good. Hmm. Hmm. Sneaky, 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 trying to get that pawn past the, the you know, up on the sixth step of the rank. Uh, yeah, that's really bad for me. Uh, that's horrible. I'm about to probably get Rumple stomped. Uh, that's okay, though, because chess is a learning experience and you gotta lose to win. Or something to that nature. Um, if he goes here, I'm trapped. I'm super trapped. Um, why can I not move? Ah, uh, bishop. I see. I ain't bought that bishop somehow. Alright, uh, that's not gonna work. Uh, oh boy. I am not winning this game. Uh, he goes here. I'm, I'm done. I can't move here. I can't move here. Yeah, it's just checkmate. Uh, I don't think I can bluff him either. Uh, there, there, they got me. I'm not going to concede, though. You never concede in chess. Your opponent could blunder it all the way. But they have checkmate. And they didn't take it. I mean, they did. They, they forced me down here, but... I mean, I do have that move. It's a forced move, but it, there, it's there. If they just would have went here, they had to be in checkmate. That's... He's just got to drop down here. And uh, it's not going to be pretty. Um, the only other thing I can do is put him in check, um, uh, bring my rook to my king, and what this does is if they take with queen, I can retake, sort of, uh, so now he's got me in check with this guy, uh, I have to move my king, I have to move my rook here, which they just take, and then I'm dead. Um, that's my only move, that is my, is a force move, uh, there's nothing I can do about it. I told y'all I was not gonna be great at this, uh, but, you know, hey, you win some, you lose some, it's all good. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, do not, do not take me to that website, please. I clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a, do a game review. Uh, okay, uh, it's, I, yeah, one blunder, one missed, I had another missed win, uh, three inaccuracies, four mistakes, yeah, I mean, nah, it, it is what it is, um, we're back to play, uh, we'll play online again, um, hopefully not lose too much more ELO, but, uh, we're gonna play.
10 minute blitz. This is what I always play. It looks like I am white pieces again. We will open same way Queens uh, Queens pawn forward uh, They played that which actually I cannot play my bishop here Until I protect this because they can just take it with the knight and be developed and attacking these two which are not good for me So what you want to do is you can uh, Send this knight out to protect it, but that's not a very good move uh, What you actually want to do is just open up this uh, this wing right here and uh, protect it that way And then they drop this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and slot my bishop out there while I can. See what they do. So bishop... It is attacking my horse, but there's a rook and a queen there. That horse is fine. Um, we are actually going to close off the flank here. And uh, we're going to move this bishop up. You wanted it that bad. Well, sir... Um, you got it. So now he's got his horse down here and he's uh, threatening to attack this square, which will put my king in check. So I need to rebuke this horse. I need to push this horse out of here and not let him take this square. Uh, how I'm going to, and he can also attack this too and have, he can do a lot of stuff over here. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is use this pawn, take that. It does open up this file and it looks like he's uh, trying to push his queen down in here. Um, but what he doesn't realize is I'm just going to uh, sacrifice my bishop to take his queen. Uh, this bishop is kind of a, a sacrificial lamb anyways in the London system. You don't really care about it that much. Uh, so I think that's a good trade. And it's going to weaken his pawn structure up here. It's going to put him two pawns in the same rank. That's not a good thing to have. So, and he has no more attacking uh, pieces on this side of the board, except for his pawn. He can pawn storm, but that's about it. Uh, now with this open file, what I can do is I can take my rook and move it here to uh, C1. And I can attack this pawn. I have a complete open file if he takes uh, the, my bishop with this pawn. Uh, if he takes here and opens this up, uh, then I'm definitely going to want to start mo uh, mobilizing on this side and try to take care of that weakness. Uh, attacking him on this side would be better, though, because he has no pieces left over here. And if he castles this direction, then I really got him in a hard spot. Uh, he could be a roper. A uh, roper is anybody that uh, just runs the clock down to uh, uh, out, of, out of spite. Or, you know, maybe they, they did have to jump up and do something spectacular, but they should have closed the game out or resigned before they did. Um, you run into that a lot on online games. People are just, are just not good sportsmen uh, when it comes to online games, and they let their frustration eat at them. I've lost so many games of Magic in 20 years of playing Magic. I've lost so many games of Yu-Gi-Oh. I've lost so many games of chess. I was never good at sports. Uh, I've lost so much in my life, it does not faze me. I do not get salty about losing. I try and learn from it. That's the best thing you can do about to, to deal with losing. Is to just suck it up and learn from it. Alrighty then, they're deep in the tank. Um, they, I think they had the timer pop up to count them out in a minute. 
uh, since they've been in idle for so long. I think they clicked a button to make that go away. I think they're actually going to make us sit here for six minutes and wait them out. And I will. I will. Just not to let them have it. I'm surprised they haven't offered me a draw yet. That happens a lot, too. I take more draws than I used to, but I still don't have that many draws. Uh, it, it, if I don't know if I'm going to win or not, I'll take the draw. But usually, if I think I'm going to crush them, I'll, I'll, I won't, I'll, I'll decline the draw. But this... This, uh, this, what they're doing is, um, is very counterproductive. It really is. Uh, wasting my time doesn't actually do anything but waste their time, too. You know, um, they're not going to make me uh, rage quit and give them free ELO. Um, and they're not making any friends with me right now, either. Um, this doesn't solve anything, you know, they have, a, I mean, I could blunder really bad here, and they could actually still be in this game, and then again, I could, like I said, their apartment could be on fire, and they're trying to get their kids out, I don't know, I don't know what's on the other side of that screen, uh, but I gotta fill this time, this, uh, this, uh, dead air time with talking, and we gotta talk about something, and, um, so, right now, what I'm thinking, if, if this game continues, I have check with Bishop here. If he doesn't drop in, if he doesn't drop this pawn or drop this pawn, uh, if he takes here, it's going to be really nice. Uh, he'll have to move here, and if this pawn is gone, I can get my queen up there quick enough to maybe checkmate him. Um, and I've learned in uh, in chess the first, the first couple of mistakes that I always made in my early games. Was I was always looking for checkmate. Always looking for checkmate. Always looking for checkmate. Missing attacks on other pieces. Okay, I got 12 seconds to auto-resign. Okay, uh, so... I, it occurred to me in one game, when I had a bead on their... on the, Yeah, see, they clicked the button again to make the timer run all the way down. Okay, they quit. Uh, I'm not going to rate them. Uh, that's fine. I'm not going to say they were good or bad. I don't, you know, but, uh, there's my plus 10 elo. Um, but yeah, uh, you don't always have to attack the king. You don't always have to attack the king's position. You can line up and attack other pieces and get them off the board and set up that way. Now, one thing you want to know about attacking the king is one, one piece of, one chess piece cannot attack the king. You at least need two chess pieces, and certain chess pieces, like two knights, can never checkmate a king. So you got to be aware of that in the end game. Uh, and uh, when you are attacking something, and your opponent's defending, you always want one more attacker than they have the defender to take it. I uh, hope that helps you. Um, anyways, uh, I've been Will for Magic the Friendly Tavern. This has been my first chess video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Happy pack pulls, and as always, happy games.